So due to some request and a follow up on my recent video on uh, fixing Fortnite performance mode, a lot of you wanted my AMD, or one of you wanted my AMD settings. So this is for general purposes, so not f only for Fortnite, also all other games that you can play. And this is just, it works for my graphics card, it might not work for yours, it should. Well, yeah, it should. So here are my settings, and I'll explain what each of them do, and then why you should turn them off or whatever. Now we go to home. Uh, I have some games here. Uh, games, you want to click on gaming, games, you'll see all your games here. Uh, normally, I just don't play these as much, so I leave them here, but the games I do play, like Fortnite, Tarkov, you can see down here, they're not here, because um, I just remove them, because if you play a game, right, uh, when you're gaming, it tracks all your metrics, your FPS, your CPU usage, everything else. And although that's negligible for some systems, that can cause you know some minor FPS loss. And usually, I just leave, I just remove all the games. So right click, remove. Uh, the settings. If you're wondering what they have, you can click on them, and there's just different options here. They're basically all the same options in the settings tab, just for the specific game. And I don't see why you would just want metric logging when you're playing a game so I just remove them so remove remove I wouldn't keep any here so until you get to the screen they won't be added back if, in case you're wondering so once you remove them they'll be gone unless you do something even unless you add it again or scan don't do that now moving on to graphics um, disable all of these you really don't like Despite what they say, especially like Radeon anti lag, of course you want to use that for lower FPS, uh, lower input lag, but it really doesn't work. It actually does more harm than good. So you want to turn up all of these, all of these, all of these. Wait for vertical refresh. I just turn it always off, even though this is not recommended. Framework control, turn it off, off, off. I use multi sampling for anti aliasing. Use application settings. Uh, off, off, off. Put this on standard. Don't want anything else. Use application settings, and then if you are having some stutters or a major FPS drops, I would try clearing the shader caster. Uh, I did it once, and I did gain about 10 frames on Tarkov. Moving on to display, uh, turn off free sync if you support it. Definitely turn it off. Turn off virtual. I would keep this on center because uh, if you keep scale mode on center, it ensures uh, your display is actually um, if you use stretch res it ensures that your stretch res is display scaled which gives you the lowest input delay but that's only if you use stretch res I just keep it on center because uh, sometimes I switch back to stretch but that's rare keep this off disabled um, don't put on vivid gaming uh, in my experience it makes the game look a lot worse now custom color uh, you can copy this if you want for my Tarkov players out there uh, I do have this so it enhances the game with plus post effects. If you want a post effects setting video, you guys can comment on this and just ask for it. But these are my, this is mainly for Tarkov, uh, but it looks great in Fortnite. It looks great in Valorant. I just haven't tested in other games yet. So that's that. Copy that. Uh, custom resolutions, if you want to use stretch res, of course, use that. All right. Now moving on to the visor. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Recording stream, that's if you want to record a stream, nothing really else. Performance, that's where we get to. I would turn off all the metrics logging because, uh, you know, we don't want unnecessary um, CPU, GPU usage. Tuning, uh, if you have an AMD graphics card, if you have, you should check this. Go to tuning, put it, it should be on default, put it on custom, and then turn on fan tuning. And then if there's zero RPM, you might want to disable that because if you guys don't have a see-through PC, or like the case is see-through, you might not be able to see if your fan is running at all. Zero RPM is a very, in my opinion, a very flawed um, mechanic. It's the, This means the fans don't spin until it reaches a certain temperature, a certain temperature threshold. And in my experience, I used to, because I forgot, I first got this graphics card and I didn't know what this option was and I didn't know it was a thing. So my fans weren't spinning and I was losing a lot of FPS. Like in Tarkov, I lose around 20 FPS with this on. So turn it off. Uh, it basically ensures your fans spinning at all time. 
all the time, which is what you want. You don't want your fans to not be spinning, especially uh, if you know if your fans are not spinning, your your GPU is uh, creating more heat, and that heat is just building up in your case. So you don't want that. Max fan speed put over you put eighty two. Uh, you don't want to leave the rest off unless you're overclocking or under or, or uh, under volting, but I wouldn't mess with that. Settings, I just put this on the lowest and then whatever, whatever. I go to settings. Uh, over here, uh, it's just pretty much basic stuff. Make sure you update your drivers. Audio and video, I just put on default. Hotkeys, I disable hotkeys because I don't need them. That's that. Uh, I don't know. I don't do any VR stuff, so I can't help you with that. Preferences, uh, turn off all these except for the system tray menu when I need to open it up. And then I would leave the AMD user experience program, you know, just you don't want them collecting data. And that's basically it. Nothing too much. Just turn off any everything basically. Uh really you it's not gonna help a lot. You would rather just use, you know, your peer GPU. You don't want to use any of these different features that I mean, you can look around on the internet, they really don't work. A lot of people already gone over them. So these are the best settings I've played with. So yeah, just turn everything off. Custom this custom color is great by the way. I would definitely try it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it.